Hey, welcome to Rockley. I'm Jacob, reminding you, a spin a day keeps the doctor away. And this week, I'm going to talk about how I organize my record collection, and uh, specifically some products I use from Keppel Design. And you're going to want to stay to the very end, because I'm going to tell you how you can win your very own LP display block by Keppel Design. Stay tuned. Get ready for Rockley, bringing music to you. Rockley, rock and roll, metal and country too. Get ready for the record of the week. Get ready for Rockley. All right, first, some housekeeping. All statements and opinions in this video are my own. All products shown in this video are bought by me. So organizing my collection, I'm pretty uh, basic. Alphabetize my collection A to Z by the last name of the artist. If it's the name of a band, it's by the first uh, name of the band. Uh, except if it's prefaced with the, uh, then I go to the next indicator of the band. But I have started to uh, separate some of my collection out by genre. Most of my collection is under the rock umbrella. Uh, but I've, as I've expanded in country and jazz, I've kind of created two sections for those specific genres. And as my collection continues to grow, I'm going to consider maybe doing like some subgenres. Uh, you know, I'm really into doom metal, and I've thought about kind of breaking that out of my collection. But we'll see. Let's talk about Keppel Design. Keppel Design is owned and operated by Kate Keppel out of San Francisco, California. I bought my first set of dividers about four years ago, and it was the uh, six-piece set. So depending on the size of your collection, you can buy six, eight, 10, or 26 dividers. So for smaller collections, you need less dividers, and uh, obviously work your way up to the full alphabet. They're made of a hardwood and just have a very sturdy construction. These things will outlast me. If I tried, I don't think I could break one of these. They're just way thicker than uh, I originally thought. So they do take up some space on your shelf. You know, about the size of a record, a gatefold, it has a very soft uh, sanded finish. Uh, the edges are really smooth and then you have this just insanely soft uh, finish on top. Uh, and these are, if you wanted to paint these or stain these, I'm, you could. I like the natural look and I've noticed that over time uh, they kind of, they've darkened and I, I just really love the look of these. Um, and so, you know, their tagline is, uh, we make record collecting look damn good and they just do a damn good job. Um, you can tell just like the time uh, that was taken in the sanding process and plus just well thought out in regards to the LP display block. It just has a, a, a nice opening so you can fit several records kind of like your uh, spinning cue so it's also big enough to fit like a, uh, a, a small box set maybe for like a single album box set. Uh, fits really nice. Uh, you can choose different fonts uh, you can do engraved or what she calls her stencil pattern and I, I just really dig the stencil font and that's what I went with for my collection. But the engraved versions of these dividers are fantastic and honestly hindsight I would have went with the engraved mainly because no matter which side you're on, on the engraved version, it'll actually be the correct uh, way. So on the stencil, if you're not on the correct side, it's backwards. So if you're on the back side of the stencil dividers, uh, the letter's backwards. Whereas on the engraved versions, you don't have that issue. So the, the LP block is just a, a really cool idea. And th there's other brands out there uh, that have similar products. And I always used a, uh, a picture frame holder for a long time uh, to display the record I was playing. Record playing is a very visual, tactile experience um, and this product just plays off of that really well uh, so displaying your album that you have playing or even just generally displaying an album on a shelf just really pleases the eye and makes the listening experience that much more enjoyable uh, at least for me so I, I really dig this product and Kate Keppel 
uh, I spoke to her, I told her I was doing this video, that I love the products, and uh, she was gracious enough to offer the now spinning LP block uh, stencil version uh, for a giveaway for you guys. Uh, so I'm very excited and I, Kate, thank you. I, I truly appreciate it. I, I can't thank you enough for your generosity uh, and support. She's been just very helpful uh, in helping me with my channel and providing some feedback and suggestions and I, I'm truly thankful. Uh, thank you, Kate. So to enter the contest, uh, to win Keppel Designs Stencil LP Block, all you have to do is subscribe to Rockley Records on YouTube, follow Rockley Records on Instagram, and Record Dividers, which is Keppel Design on Instagram. Find the giveaway post on Rockley Records and tag a friend, and that's it. Uh, and you'll be entered the win. You have until Thursday, October 29th at 7 p.m. Central Time to enter the contest. Then we'll announce the winner Friday, October 30th at 2 p.m. Central Time. Uh, I'm very excited and I wish you all the best of luck. Well, that's it for this week, guys. Uh, I hope that you'll participate in the contest giveaway or uh, if you don't yourself, if you could just spread the news, I really appreciate it. Like I said, I, I think Keppel Design products are fantastic uh, and I'm just really excited to, for one viewer uh, to be able to own the now spinning LP block. So please share and also, I'd love to know how you organize your collection. Uh, do you do it by A to Z, uh, by genre? Do you have some other method uh, that might be unique or different? Or maybe you're very similar. So uh, I'd, I'd love to hear that too. You just had a healthy dose of broccoli and good luck. If you wanna know more about Keppel Design and the products they offer, you can find more information at keppeldesign.com.